Good morning. Today you join me from a hotel room in Mexico City. We have this beautiful unmade bed here. And we have a bag of dirty washing and my bag with all my worldly possessions. The reason the beds are made is today I'm checking out of this hotel. I've been here in this room for five days, I think. I've been working at this desk. I bought myself a laptop and uh, I've been eating pizza. As you can see, I've been leaving the salad. That's why the bag's still there. I've got the bathroom here. And uh, yeah, like I say, today we're leaving, or I'm leaving, and I'm going to an Airbnb. I've rented an apartment in Mexico City for four weeks a month. So I'm gonna be hanging out there for the next few weeks. And today we're going to go and check the apartment out and I'll show you what it's like. It's now 10 to 11 in the morning. I need to check out the hotel and I can't check into the apartment until three o'clock. So I need to take my bags and walk around like a turtle. So I'm going to walk around Mexico City for a bit and then get an Uber to the apartment because Mexico City is massive and this apartment's in a different district. But apparently it's close to a Walmart and a Starbucks. So that's my two favorite things. So I'm sorted. So let's go check it out. thing about Mexico City is that everyone wears a mask all the time so you have to wear one when you're checking in and out of the hotel and when you're in a common area so this is the parking lot so as we leave the hotel I'll show you just now we've got all these little food stalls along here it's Sunday so they're not open but the smell is beyond repugnant it comes from them I'm going to show you this car as well. I know I'll show you a lot of cars and you probably don't care. You're not interested. But I think you'll like this one because I like it. It's a fairly common car back in the UK. It's a Vauxhall Corsa C. Or they used to be fairly common. I've not been home in a while. But check this one out. I think this is uh, not quite showroom condition. But it's a public road. And uh, we can see it's been used as a trash can at the back. And uh, a trash can at the side. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if it's still driving. There's a couple more over here that are in less of a terrible condition. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's still driving, so we'll leave it there. I'm gonna to go to Oxo and get a coffee and then I'm gonna walk into town and then I've got a couple hours to kill and I see what I can find to do. Probably not much. It doesn't matter where you go in the world, there's always a Domino's. I went here the other night, it says 99 pesos for a Mediana pizza and I got charged 174 it's basically double I don't have the Spanish to try and argue or ask questions and the pizza was awful as every Domino's pizza is awful I don't know why they're everywhere I hate them I've been walking for like maybe five minutes my back's sweating already it's not even hot here I've got jeans on I don't even have the shorts on but it's quite muggy back sweating backpack's quite light like it's not big I think I'm just getting old and unfit and I can't be bothered carrying it anymore. I need to try and find a coffee shop. The streets are dead. There's no one around. Sunday morning. Oh, we've made it behind this door to the apartment. Follow me. So I went to the wrong one first. I went to the one downstairs and spent 15 minutes trying to open the door with the keys for this place. And then I messaged the guy. Turns out he lives downstairs in the bottom apartment. So he came up to help me. So I'll show you the room we'll first. We'll go to the bedroom first. So we have a nice big bedroom. And uh, we've got massive fitted wardrobes over here. Inside, we, I spotted some treasures already. So we have like an old school TV and uh, lots of coat hangers, more coat hangers than clothes that I have. We've got a double bay window here with a perfectly acceptable and reasonable view. And if we go through here, we have, this is literally all of my possessions. So I have the red bag and then my backpack. Got some spare towels, some toilet paper, a spare mattress if I find a friend to come over and stay. And here we have the bathroom, we've got the sink and Shower, it's perfectly acceptable. Perfect. Oh, look at that window with the peacock on it. That's beautiful. It's magnificent. Got the toilet, and then here, yeah, with the window here, and we'll go through. We have. I have a balcony. Check this out. So we've got two chairs on the balcony. Reasonable view, and then I have a dining table here with more chairs than people that I know in Mexico. 
We've got the living area here with these fairly uncomfortable sofas, I'll be honest, but we've got a router, that's the main thing. We've got a TV, I don't know if it's a smart TV, if it is, that'd be awesome. Another big bay window, and then here we have the breakfast bar area with a blender and a coffee machine. And then if we go into the kitchen, we have, ignore the decor, but we have a cooker, which I've not had in months, we've got a kettle, and fridge, freezer, that'll do for me, microwave, some uh, free washing up liquid, and out here is, I presume, the old school washing machine, I'm going to ignore that just now, and then let's see what they give us, we've got some stuff, ooh, we've got, I've never seen so much mismatching cutlery ever, and uh, what's this, ooh, some salsa, yeah, so there's like hidden treasures all over this place. I've got, I found a cupboard here as well, which has got like various, if I want to, if I want to do some heroin and shoot up, I can use the tin foil. And uh, I've got an iron for the clothes that I never iron. Yeah, so I've rented this place for four weeks, full month. So I'll be here chilling out, working online, trying to make some money. And uh, yeah, I'm going to head out in a minute and go to Walmart which is about a 10, 15 minute walk away from here, I reckon. So I'll show you the area when we go outside. We've got a Walmart, Starbucks, and a Burger King, all within a five minute walk. So I think I'm gonna be quite happy here. I do like it. So I'll pick you up outside in a second. I'm now outside the apartment and walking towards Walmart. I've got the hat on because I know it's gonna start raining soon. And if I don't have the hat on, my glasses get wet. I'll show you the area just now. So I told you it was a nice area. I've got Mercedes, Lexus, nice apartment buildings there. And, uh, yeah, it's a nine, nine, ten minute walk to Walmart. It's like 900 meters away. On the way, when I was in the Uber, I saw there's a Starbucks there as well. And then there's a convenience store even closer than that. And then if you go the other direction, there's a Burger King. Not that I'm a huge fan of Burger King, but, you know, sometimes you need it. So, yeah, Walmart, Starbucks, Burger King. Massive apartment, dining table. I think I'm winning at life. This one's nicer, though. Yeah, I wanted to make sure it was in a nice area. And, uh... I learned this trick when I was in Mumbai a few years ago. So in Mumbai in India, it's a city of 20 million people, no one knows. And there's seven, or at the time, this is in 2017, there was seven Starbucks. So what I did when I was trying to navigate my way around the city and find a nice area, go to where there's a Starbucks, because they don't put Starbucks in the ghetto. So if you're wanting to make sure you're in a reasonable area, always go close to a Starbucks. That's my top tip. Let's go find Walmart. Just walking around here, it feels like a proper leafy suburb. Like if this was in any other country in the world, there's no way I could afford to stay here. But because it's Mexico, it's a lot cheaper. And just ahead of me is what will be my local Starbucks. Here it is. So we're nearly at Walmart. I'm not sure how I crossed this road. What is this guy doing? Yeah, I'm gonna make a run for it. So I can still hear the thunder in the background. So it's gonna start raining at any point. But yeah, like I say, we have the Starbucks and just ahead, it should be a uh, Walmart, not that far. So yeah, ended up by accident and uh, what turns out to be a really nice area. You can see here, you just got parks and areas. I've seen a bunch of people walking dogs already. Here it is, I'm now at the Walmart. I just need to work out where the front door is and get inside. So I'm gonna go inside the Walmart and I'm gonna buy myself some supplies. And uh, if I need some garden furniture, I can get it from there. So I'm going to go buy myself some supplies and uh, I'll see you back at the apartment in a few minutes. Oh, so I just got back from Walmart. It rained the entire way back. I was at the checkout and I put all my stuff on the belt and I had six cans of beer and a bottle of red wine. And the woman said something with the beer and just like took them away. I'm like, you can't have them. And then she scanned the wine and put it in the bag. And then she's like, realized, took it back and then like put it to the side. She's like, Mrr. turns out that in 12 different boroughs of Mexico City in one of which I am currently right now, it is illegal to buy alcohol on a Sunday. Today is Sunday, so I can't buy beer. I'll show you what I did get. So after a month in the US of eating nothing but fast food, I feel terrible. Like I've just got no energy, I feel lethargic. So I've got tomatoes, onions, bananas, vegetables. I've got packs of kale and spinach so I can make some smoothies. I've got some eggs, some cereal. I'm actually so excited to have a kitchen with a cooker and a fridge and a freezer. I don't even care about the green walls. So I'm gonna go just now, I'm gonna cook myself something healthy for dinner and I'll catch up with you guys at some point. I'm gonna start making videos in Mexico City for the next like couple of weeks. 
when I find something interesting to go out and see and talk about. So until then, enjoy. I will see you soon.